But uh, I thank God for this amazing thing he's given to all of us called grace. My definition for grace is God giving us room to make mistakes. That's not an excuse to sin, but that covers us from our past and for Many Christians, even today, it allows room for your mistakes. I thank God for the room that he's given for my mistakes. especially back then. Not so much now. I'm not perfect by a long shot. There are times that I have to go back to people and say something that many of us have a problem of saying. And that's, I'm sorry. And if you don't like saying, I'm sorry, just say, I apologize. Again, Matthew wasn't perfect. He did things that he should not have done. He said things that he should not have said. That's why, as people, don't be so quick to judge because you might not have a place for them but God does God is the kind of God that looks beyond our faults and he supplies us with not some things, but with everything that we need. Yes. So, the time was over 2,000 years ago. 30 years after the resurrection of Christ. The people that Matthew was writing to were the Jews throughout the region of the Middle East the region of Turkey, Syria, Iran, North Africa, Iraq. Those were the places that when Jesus was here on earth, 
He spent time teaching and preaching and healing, displaying the power of God, letting the folks know that God is real. He was coming so that the world would know what God was like. He wanted them to know that just as close as you're sitting to the person to your left or to your right, he was that close to us. He came to show that Jesus is God. Just like God, he had the power, the authority, to heal the sick, to raise the dead, fed thousands with two fish and five loaves of bread. He was God in flesh, did some miraculous things while he was here. Have the ability to heal the sick once he and his disciples were on a ship. And the Bible says that a storm arose and the wind began to blow, the lightning began to flash, and the thunder rolled. And Jesus was at the bottom of the boat. <laughs> and one of the disciples went down to where Jesus was asleep and said, Master, don't you care? Don't you hear all that thunder? The lightning? Can't you hear all that rain? In some of our lives, there's a storm. You know, I'm sure Pastor sh shared with you, you know, we just went through a storm a year and a half ago. 30% of the people that have an aneurysm don't make it to the hospital. And while I was in the hospital recovering, I had another aneurysm. That's two aneurysms. I'm not supposed to be here. Hmm. So all I can say is God is good. My daughter, Gabrielle, 
because it upset her so much to see her dad in so much pain. It bothered her so that Pam, not understanding what was going on, she was dealing with not just me as her husband in the hospital, but because, ja I mean, Gabrielle was so upset that she was in the hospital too. So not only did she have to deal with a husband who's had two aneurysms, but she's also had to deal with a daughter who was being hospitalized as well. I say that to say that there is absolutely, positively, nothing too hard for God. So, Jesus, no, the Jews were dealing with the problem of not believing that Jesus had risen from the dead. Many of them had witnessed firsthand the beat down that Jesus had just experienced. They saw it up close and personal. They saw him hanging there on the cross. Stakes in his right wrist, a stake in his left wrist, and a stake in his ankle, hanging there on the cross. For not just your sin, for not just my sins, but for all the sins of the world. There are some things that the blood of rams, goats, oxen can't do. Sin requires special blood. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. So the challenge is try Jesus. And if you try him, you'll be loud too. Because I done tried them. And I know. 
Nothing can wash away my sins but Jesus. Nothing can make me hold again. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And after cancer, after two aneurysms, I found out that nothing can do me any good but Jesus. And he's a way out of no way. He turns my midnight into day. I found out that if I trust him, I found out that if I trust him, God will, yes, he will. Hey, and he all right, yes, he is. Won't he do it? Yes, he will. Jesus, my sweet Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Keep your hands in the Lord's hands. Keep your eyes fixed on God's prize. Cause after a while and by and by, God will. He'll come see about you. Ain't he all right? Yeah. Ain't he all right? Yes. God will. Yes, he will. He'll make a way when there seems to be no way. He'll turn midnights into midday. Ain't he all right? Yes, he is. Yes! Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Glory be to God. Somebody ought to give him glory! Somebody ought to shout hallelujah! Oh, he's been good to us. Better to us than we've been to ourselves. We praise God for this word today. Amen. Thank God. First things first. And he walked us through the text told us exactly what we needed to trust him in these difficult times. Amen? Amen. 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 We praise God. Praise God for what the Lord has done to this great man of God. Amen? Amen. 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 As we stand to our feet, there may be someone who is out of the ark of safety, someone who does not know Jesus from the free pardon of your sin, God is able right now to save you, set you free, put you on a path of eternal life. All you have to do is repent of your sins, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that God has raised Jesus from the dead. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, but you shall be saved. There may be someone who is not a part of the St. John family who desire to join the body of Christ, you desire to join the body of Christ, if you desire to be saved, please raise your hand right where you are. Right where you are. 
right where you are. If you desire to join St. John, raise your hand right where you are. Hallelujah. I want to give you an opportunity to receive him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we come once again in the mighty name of thy son, Jesus. We want to thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for Gregory Daniels, Reverend Gregory Daniels. We thank you for the word that you deposited in him and allowed him to deliver unto us. Helping us to know, God, that we need to set our priorities straight and that we need to trust you even when we can't trace you. Father, we ask, God, that you would bless these, your people who stand around this sanctuary. Some are standing in the need of one thing and some are standing in the need of another. But we know, Father, you have all 10,000 blessings in your hand just to satisfy us all. So we ask now that you would touch, that you would heal those who are sick, that you would deliver those who are bound, that you would set the captives free. Father, we pray for those who are in bereavement right now. We pray, dear God, for Sister Pamela Rogers. We ask God that you would comfort and strengthen their family as they mourn the loss of their father, Deacon Paul Wade. We ask God that you would bless Sister Joyce Patterson and family as they mourn the loss of her sister-in-law. We ask, dear God, that you would comfort bereaved families everywhere. We pray, dear God, that you would touch and heal those who are sick. Lord, we know right now that Jesus was wounded for their transgressions, bruised for their iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes they are healed. And we thank you, God, for the healing even right now. We ask, God, that you would remember those who are in a financial bind, Help them to know, dear God, that as our pastor reverend said, if they distrust you with tithe and give of their offering unto you, O oh God, sow the seed, dear God, that you would open up the windows of heaven, that you would pour out a blessing that they won't have room enough to receive. So open the door to that new job, that new promotion, that new opportunity, and shut the door of poverty, disappointment, and discouragement. Father, we know you can open doors that no man can shut. You can shut doors that no man can open. We pray for families. We pray for husbands and wives, marriages, oh God. We ask that you would bring the family back together in sacred stability. Restore, heal, and set the captives free. Bless our nation. Bless our world. Remember leaders, oh God, from our president down to the mayor of our city. Give them a mind to make right decisions we might lead a quiet and a peaceful life. Bless St. John. Help us to grow in your grace, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding. Father, we ask these and other blessings. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name we pray. We count it done. We claim the victory. And we say amen, amen, and amen. Saints, as we remain standing, just a few announcements on next Saturday, on this Saturday morning, we will have from 11 to 2, from 11 to 2, we will have a friends and family cookout here at the St. John Baptist Church. We are inviting Epworth Boys Home. We invite also the, uh, uh, the uh, Ronald McDonald House and many others who will be uh, a part of this great celebration. We're also inviting our community to come and share in our cookout, fish fry, uh, hot dogs, and so forth. We're going to encourage you to please come. And of course, we will have something for the kids. We ask that you would please come. Not only on Saturday morning, but also on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. Invite your friends to worship. It is friends and family. Invite your family members to worship. It is friends and family day. The Lord has a mighty word for us. We ask that you would please come and share on next Sunday. Amen? Amen. Thank God for our preschool graduation on yesterday. Let's give it up for our preschool. Saints, we're about to birth a new ministry. We're going to ask those who will be a part of this new ministry that we will be concentrating hopefully uh, later on in the month. Uh, but the new ministry is out of the darkness into the light recovery ministry. We will be meeting in the conference room for those
of you who are interested, please come and meet with us in the conference room immediately after service. And at this time, we're going to ask Reverend Counts to come and uh, ask the blessing for our offering and thank God for him and Sister Counts celebrating 35 years of marital bliss. Amen. Amen. Is it on? Test and test. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father God, we come, Lord, giving you thanks. God, we thank you for provision, Father God. We thank you for your presence, Lord God. It is you, God, that give, made us a part of this providential plan, God, that, Lord, you sowed into us, God. Lord, we are sowing back a portion into you, Father God. Lord, not to gain riches or glory, Lord God, for ourselves, but, Lord, to build your kingdom this morning, Father God. And so, Lord, what an honor it is to bring it before you, Father God. We thank you for this awesome word, Lord God. Yes. And, Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that, Lord, this word is going to multiply, God. And, Lord, as you have blessed us with abundance, God, we ask you to anoint anointed, Father God, that it can bless others. Oh God, we ask you, Lord God, this, this, these offerings that we have given you, God, Lord, that you multiply like you did the two fish and the five loaves of bread, God, that we can feed the hungry, Lord God. We can house the homeless, God. Oh God, that we can help the hurting, God, Lord God. We can pay bills, Father God, electric bills, God, light bills, Father God. Oh God, rent bills, Father God, Lord. We, we're going to bless, Lord God. We are going to be cheerful givers, God, because you gave to us, Father God. It is you that made the way out of no way, God. And so, God, as we bring these offerings, God, we thank you for those that had the heart to give, Lord, to be cheerful givers, God. We thank you, God, for those who wanted to give, God, but, Lord, didn't have it to give, Father God. But, Lord, we glorify you in all these things, God, because, God, we have our minds stayed on you, God. So, Lord, as you search our hearts, God, oh, God, search our minds, Lord God. Lord, we love you with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, God. Oh, God. Take the $2, God, and make it spend like $200,000, Lord God. Oh, God, we'll give you glory, God. We know, God, that you have opened the windows of heaven and poured out a blessing that we did not have room enough to receive. So, God, we sow it back to you right now by the grace and the glory of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Okay. We receive. Yes. And we restore. And we say amen. 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 Let's give it up for Reverend Daniels one more time. We're going to ask him to do the benediction. Wonderful words. Thank you, my brother. Amen. We thank God for each of you and your prayers. Continue to pray for me and my family. Now for our benediction, may the grace of God, the communion of his Holy Spirit, rest, rule, and abide henceforth now and forevermore. The people of God said, Amen. God bless. Praise God with our choir.
Bless you. Have an awesome week in Jesus' name.